Hello and welcome to another video in the UTM Calculus video series. This time we're going to discuss L'Hopital's rule. This is a, a rule or a theorem for evaluating certain types of limits of quotients where both the numerator and the denominator approach zero or both of them approach plus or minus infinity. These are called indeterminate forms because they cannot be determined by simply inserting a value into the function. But L'Hopital's rule will help us evaluate some of these limits. Let's start by taking a look at what the rule actually says. Suppose that f and g are differentiable functions at x equals to a, and that the limit of f of x divided by g of x as x goes to a is an indeterminate form of the type 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. This means that either the limit of f of x is equal to 0 and the limit of g of x is equal to 0, or alternatively, the limit of f of x is plus or minus infinity and the limit of g of x is plus minus infinity. If either of these two cases occur, then the limit of f of x divided by g of x as x goes to a is equal to the limit of the derivative of f divided by the derivative of g as x goes to a, provided that the new limit is either finite or plus minus infinity. When solving questions using L'Hopital's rule, it's useful to proceed with the following three steps. First, check that the limit you're working with is an indeterminate form of the type 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. If it is, then you should differentiate f of x and g of x separately. That will give you a new limit, f prime of x divided by g prime of x. Try to evaluate this limit, and if the answer is finite or plus minus infinity, then this is also the answer to the original limit. Let's have a look at an example. Here we have the limit of ln x divided by x squared as x goes to infinity. Let's try to use L'Hopital's rule. That means that we need to find the limit of the numerator and the limit of the denominator as x goes to infinity. Looking at this graph, we see that the limit of ln x as x goes to infinity is infinity. This means that the limit of the numerator as x goes to infinity is infinity. Also, the limit of x squared as x goes to infinity is infinity. This means that we do have an indeterminate form of the type infinity over infinity. So we are allowed to use L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule says we should differentiate the numerator and the denominator independently of each other. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x, and the derivative of x squared is 2x. This is the same as 1 over x multiplied by 1 over 2x, which simplifies to be 1 over 2x squared. Now the limit of this as x goes to infinity is equal to 0. This means that L'Hopital's rule has helped us find the answer to this limit. The limit of ln x divided by x squared as x goes to infinity is equal to 0. In the next example, we have the limit as x goes to 0 of sine x over x. Again, we should try to find out if this is an indeterminate form. The limit of sine x as x goes to 0 is 0 and also the limit of the denominator as x goes to 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, we do have an indeterminate form of the type 0 over 0. Using L'Hopital's rule, we should differentiate the numerator and the denominator independently of each other. The derivative of sine x is cos x and the derivative of x is 1. Inserting the value for x, we see that the answer is 1. This means that the answer to the original limit is also equal to 1. Here we have the limit as x goes to 0 from the positive side of x squared plus 4x plus 7 divided by x. Let's check to see if this is an indeterminate form. If x approaches 0, the numerator will approach 7 and the denominator will approach 0. Therefore, we do not have an indeterminate form and therefore L'Hopital's rule cannot be applied. We must find another method for evaluating this limit. For example, we can break up the quotient and make three smaller quotients. Simplifying each one, we see that the final answer is infinity. In the next example, we have the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the power of 5x divided by negative x plus 1 squared. First, we have to find the limit of e to the power of 5x as x goes to infinity. Looking at the graph, we see that this limit is infinity. Also, the limit of the denominator is negative infinity. 
So this time we do have an indeterminate form and we are allowed to use L'Hopital's rule. The derivative of e to the power 5x is 5 times e to the power 5x and the derivative of the denominator is negative 2 times x plus 1. And although this is simpler than the original limit, it is still not completely trivial to see what this limit is. But if we evaluate the limit of the numerator and the denominator, we see that we again have an indeterminate form. Therefore, we can apply L'Hopital's rule for a second time. The derivative of the numerator is 25e to the power 5x, and the derivative of the denominator is negative 2. As x approaches infinity, the numerator will approach infinity, and the denominator will stay at negative 2, giving a final answer of negative infinity. So, now we've seen a number of examples of using L'Hopital's rule to evaluate limits of quotients of the form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. Now, it is possible to also use L'Hopital's rule to evaluate other types of limits, provided that you can first rewrite them as a quotient of one of these forms. There are three main categories when this is possible. Here they are. L'Hopital's rule can also be applied to indeterminate products, indeterminate differences, and indeterminate powers. Very shortly we will see examples of each one of these. Just remember that L'Hopital's rule can only be applied to these provided that they can first be rewritten as an indeterminate quotient. Here we have the limit of a product. This is not a fraction, so L'Hopital's rule cannot be used as is, but we can rewrite this product as a fraction. Square root of x times ln x is the same as ln x divided by 1 over square root of x. Now we can check to see if L'Hopital's rule can be used. First we have to find the limit of ln x as x goes to 0 from the positive side. Looking at the graph of ln x, we see that this limit is equal to negative infinity. Also, the limit of 1 over square root of x as x goes to 0 from the positive side is infinity. Therefore, we do have an indeterminate quotient, and we can use L'Hopital's rule. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x, and the derivative of 1 over square root of x is equal to negative 1 divided by 2 times x to the power of 3 over 2. Simplifying this, we get 1 over x times 2 times x to the power of 3 over 2 divided by negative 1. And simplifying further, we get negative 2 times x to the power of a half. Now we can take the limit as x goes to 0 from the positive side, and the answer is 0. Here we have the limit of a difference. Let's start by trying to rewrite this as a quotient. We would get a common denominator of x times sine x, and the numerator would become sine x minus x. Now we have a quotient, and we can check to see if we can use L'Hopital's rule. The limit of the numerator is 0 as x goes to 0 from the positive side, and the limit of the denominator is also zero. That means that we are allowed to use L'Hopital's rule. The derivative of sine x minus x gives us cos x minus 1. And to differentiate the denominator, we need to use the product rule. The derivative of x times sine x is 1 times sine x plus x times cos x. Now we have the limit of a new quotient, but this is looking fairly complicated still. Maybe we can try to use L'Hopital's rule a second time. Now the numerator goes to 0, and also the denominator also goes to 0. Therefore, we still have an indeterminate form, and we are allowed to use L'Hopital's rule a second time. The derivative of cos x minus 1 is negative sine x, and the derivative of the denominator is cos x plus x times sine x plus cos x. Notice that we had to use the product rule to differentiate x times cos x. Now we can evaluate this limit by simply inserting 0 for x. Now we get 0 over 2, which is equal to 0. Notice that there are two ways to rewrite a product into a quotient. This is because you have a choice of which part of the function to use as your numerator and which one will be used to create the denominator. Personally, I like to choose whichever option is the easiest to work with, but if I get stuck, I might have to go back and try the other option. Apart from turning products into quotients, I also mentioned earlier that L'Hopital's rule can be used to uh, evaluate other indeterminate forms, for example, indeterminate powers. Now, this is a little more difficult, and it takes a little more work. 
but it means that we can evaluate much more complicated functions. Here are the steps that you would need to follow. To evaluate limits of indeterminate powers of the form 0 to the power of 0, infinity to the power of 0, or 1 to the power of infinity, you can use the following steps. Step 1. Apply the natural logarithm ln to the limit. Step 2. Using known properties of ln, rewrite the powers as products by bringing down the exponent and multiplying. Step 3. Once you have the limit of a product, you can use methods from previous examples to evaluate the limit. Step 4. So far we have calculated the ln of the limit. So if the limit in step 3 is L, the final answer to the original problem is e to the power of L. Here we have the limit of a power. Let's try to use L'Hopital's rule. First we need to take ln of the limit. Now we can move the ln inside of the limit because ln is a continuous function. Now using properties of ln we can bring down the exponent 1 over x and multiply. So we have 1 over x multiplied by ln 1 minus 2x. This is, can be written as a quotient ln 1 minus 2x divided by x. And now we can check to see if we can use L'Hopital's rule. The limit of the numerator is ln of 1 which is equal to 0 and the limit of the denominator is equal to 0. Therefore we can use L'Hopital's rule. The derivative of ln 1 minus 2x is 1 over 1 minus 2x multiplied by the inside derivative which is negative 2. The derivative of x is 1. Now we can evaluate this limit by simply inserting 0 for x and simplifying. This gives us negative 2. But this is not the final answer. Remember that we calculate the ln of the original limit. Therefore, the final answer will be e to the power of negative 2. We have now seen many different types of limits where L'Hopital's rule can be used. Let's try to summarize some of them. The easiest ones are the quotients. Here you would take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. Remember that you should differentiate each one independently of each other, not together using the quotient rule. We also saw examples of indeterminate products. These ones can be made into a quotient before using L'Hopital's rule. Slightly more complicated are limits of powers. You should start by taking the logarithm of the expression, which would allow you to rewrite this as a product. This product can then be turned into a quotient. There are also indeterminate differences. Some of these can be rewritten to become one of the above three types. To summarize, L'Hopital's rule is used for evaluating limits of indeterminate quotients, but you can also use it for other indeterminate forms, such as uh, differences, uh, products, even powers, as long as you turn them into a quotient. But remember to always check that your quotient is of the form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity before attempting to use L'Hopital's rule. Well, you know what they say, practice makes perfect. So please go and have a look at some of our practice problems that we put together for you. And thank you for watching and good luck.